Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And as we do a little series on the features of Microsoft Edge Chromium, one of the things we're going to talk about today is the collections feature, which is available. So when you get the Edge stable version, you will see a icon on the upper right of the um, address bar, which is called collections. What's that? So of course you do have favorites. You can add to your favorites. You can even do folders in your favorites with different categories, but collections is a little different for a couple of reasons. Collections is to start a collection of websites that have similar subjects, for example. So I will put together some of my favorite um, astronomy websites, for example. So why is it different and why is it better than using favorites? Well, for one thing, it's visually more appealing because you have miniatures that show the page of and what the, the website looks like, which is more interesting than the, the favorites. That's just a list. Second of all, it is easily accessed through the collections feature icon rather than going into favorites and sometimes the folders are mixed in with some of the favorites that you have and uh, you know it, it's it's a way of doing things and I know some of you will probably prefer continuing the good old I want to do a folder in my favorites and put my different websites of a, a same theme and that's all right I mean it depends what what you want to use but I personally like collections better especially for the visual aspect and it's easy to manage at the same time so how do you start a new collections it's very very easy here you have start new collections so i'm going to click that and i'm going to call it astronomy press enter and of course that means that now we have an astronomy collections that is done as you see here it's empty right now so what do i do i will go to space.com here for example which is one of the websites i like to go to with a lot of information on astronomy. So when you are in your collections, so astronomy is right here, you have add current page. You have it here at the bottom when there's no content also. Click add current page and here you go. Space.com, NASA, space exploration and so on. It's now in here. Uh, let's say that I wanna add space weather, which is another one that I like to go to. Then I will add current page. Uh, one that is not necessarily just astronomy, but I like to go is science daily, daily com, And I will add this one too. And here you go. Now I've got three websites that are here, which means that now let's put the little X here close. And if I get back into my browser, what I will do is uh, if I want to go back to my collections, go back to some of those websites, simply click the collections feature. You will see that what you have is added here. So you just click on the one you want to see. I want to go back to Science Daily or whatever. Uh, you just click on it and it's here. You want to remove one website. It's very easy. Uh, each website has a little box on the upper right corner. You can simply put a little check mark in here. And there's the delete button. You can also share it via email, for example. So that's another thing that's kind of interesting. And you can, of course, copy the selection if you want. So, for example, maybe you will do a... Uh, so here I did an astronomy one, but maybe I will do one that is called science. And, of course, astronomy is part of science, like a lot of other websites. I could copy the content and actually... Uh, paste it in another um, and, and another collections feature or, um, or theme if you want. You can also go and select a full collection and delete it. So if you have one collection and after a certain time you're like, well, I've managed to do a different collection with uh, another name that um, suits my way of working better, and I don't need the first one that I did. So just when you see the name of the collections itself, you can actually put a check mark and delete it completely. And that is, of course, something that's possible also. 
So these are nice ways of simply doing, uh, uh, you know, aggregation of putting together the same websites that you go to all the time in categories uh, with the collections feature. And it does sync. So you can sync the collections feature within different edge browsers. That is also cool because that also means that you'll be able to view them on other machines running the Edge Chromium browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.